Bank of America is amazed to announce that it has met the Bank of America match. The organization asked you to help mobilize the public in the fight to end hunger, and you responded. So what's next? Emily Bell from the High Plains Food Bank joins us today alongside Bank of America's Sherry Padilla. Emily, this is great news to talk about that not only did we meet it and we did it in a hurry, we actually increased the amount of money that's going to be going to our local food bank. That's absolutely right. This is one of those nationwide campaigns and partnerships that has a tremendous local impact. And, and so Give a Meal with the Bank of America F a Charitable Foundation, you know, matches those donations yeah. two for one. So, so this has been tremendous. Um, more than, more than $7,000 have been raised. And of course, those will be doubly matched. So. That's excellent. And Chair, you were saying that we um, exceeded by how much from, from previous years? From last year, we exceeded about 4,500 more match this year. So getting the word out early, I think, helped. And people really jumped on board to, to help out and get in on that match. How important is it to support organizations like the High Plains Food Bank, especially during the holidays? Well, we, we do this. One reason we do this is to um, have awareness around hunger. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, no one in America should go hungry. Right. And I think uh, hardworking families out there, uh, supporting their families, or ho hardworking folks in general, and they can raise their head a little taller when they're able to provide you know, their basic needs for their family. And I think it's just huge. It's in Maslow's hierarchy of need. You've got to have that. Um, Emily, even yes. though we have made the match, the giving shouldn't stop. We really need to push through uh, the holidays, and that link is still going to be active to give, right? Absolutely. That bankofamerica.com forward slash give is available through the year end, and of course there's other opportunities coming up, and, and the holiday needs, every agency I've t spoken with so far recently, even this week, said those the hunger is increasing. Some of the numbers have doubled. One agency said we typically serve 100 in a week, and right now we're serving on average 200 yeah. uh, different families in a given week and so um, the needs increase and the holidays can be a tricky time for families who are struggling and so it's important to continue giving. Sherry what is it like uh, when, when you get to read those numbers and you see those families the families that you are directly impacting it's not just oh I give and I forget about it um, I've done mm -hmm. my civic you know that you're, you're seeing it happen right here in the community. Absolutely and I think with the cold weather mm -hmm. you know people are having to make the choice do I pay my heat bill or do I provide food for my family. And so I think that uh, the cold weather is always a reminder to me yeah. that people may be having to make that choice. That's a good point. Sherry, thank you uh, and, and thank you for, for Bank of America doing what you do to make sure the people of the High Plains are getting the food that they need. And um, certain needs right now that you guys have, before we go, uh, I wanna know what you need. Absolutely. You know, top need is financial donations. Right now, it's also costly for the food bank to purchase shelf-stable milk and powdered milk. Yeah. So peanut butter is a critical staple and just good old canned goods, canned beef stew, uh, canned meats, and canned vegetables, critical. And they can make your dollar stretch a lot longer than you can, so don't That's forget right. that. All right, Emily, That's thank right. you. Sherry, thank you. thank you. Coming up next, Rumble.